Analytics, algorithms, big data, and automation are all set to dramatically enhance innovation, productivity, and decision-making. Coming up next, learn how the robotics revolution is changing our world. As the burgeoning e-commerce and on-demand economy continue to expand across the globe, leaders in the logistics industry are looking for innovative and advanced ways to help keep up the pace. The growth of the e-commerce uh, industry as it relates to logistics has caused issues um, because there are very low margins on uh, many of these items. So human labor and the cost of it becomes a problem. And so automating a lot of these processes becomes a huge advantage for the industry. And we're working out of our robotics to create what we hope to be the world's most cost-effective and productive robots. Driven by the need to find flexible, efficient, and automated e-commerce fulfillment, more companies are investing in warehouse robotics as an attractive and versatile alternative. Delivery is the highest cost segment of last mile delivery and omni-channel fulfillment. And adding robotics and automation help offset that so retailers can be more competitive and continue to give best price to consumers. Converting distribution centers or fulfillment centers from mechanical operations, which have historically been automated conveyor systems that may be five to seven miles in length, to more micro fulfillment centers allows two things to happen in the supply chain. Number one, you're able to actually shrink the building by moving into high density vertical storage applications. So having robots that can not only go on an X, Y axis, but also incorporate a Z axis, now it gives more functional space within a distribution center. So you can actually shrink the footprint of a distribution center that could be a million square foot today, might be half a million square feet tomorrow because you're actually going up vertical, much like a big city like New York. Current estimates project more than 4 million commercial robots will be installed in roughly 50,000 warehouses by the year 2025. However, there are still many issues associated with being able to transport a large variety of items through the warehouse in a more efficient way. When we first built Coda, it was essentially a, a gantry-based robot that had XY coordinates and a carrier plate that could spin. And as we started to think about uh, the technology more, we realized that if you put wheels on it and make it into a mobile pick worker robot, you could get greater travel and you could orchestrate a series of these robots, sometimes uh, depending on the application, hundreds of them, in such a way that they could work together and solve um, you know, the problem of large-scale distribution. Overcoming the limitations associated with current solutions, Prefius provides a more precise and efficient solution for material handling within large-scale distribution environments. With Prefius, you're going to have a robot that is not only transports material, but also picks it. So it's a much cheaper, cost-effective approach than is currently available right now. Coda offers most of the key functionality of a robotic arm. The key difference is, is that it can be stacked vertically, which makes it ideal for a, an urban warehouse where square footage is important. For transporting a large variety of objects autonomously throughout the warehouse, Prefius also utilizes carrier cartridges, which are dedicated to each individual item within a complete distribution environment. The uh, carrier cartridges that we're using uh, is a way to create a simple housing for each of the items with a simple interface that grabs each item in the same way as long as it's situated within a carrier cartridge. And in doing that, we also have sensors that we're using to track all the items. And in having those sensors, we can reduce human error that would otherwise you know, be an issue for something of this nature. Having this interface allows the mechanics of this, the system to be uh, simplified. Well, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, um, and it's essentially a sensor tag that can be put on a piece of clothing or some other item to track it in a store or in a distribution environment. RFID tags, uh, in our particular case, are used for absolute tracking because they're inter integrated directly into the carrier cartridges and uh, overcomes the, the problems with human error, so it creates greater accuracy. In addition, elevators and other kinds of carrier mobile robots may also be integrated with the entire automated storage and retrieval system. Elevator robotics is becoming a really interesting opportunity with high density robotics. Again, as we move into the XYZ axis of vertical storage, putting elevators in allows us to move product off of one plane onto another. So now you can have multiple robots running at the same time 
picking the same products, so you're able to fulfill multiple orders at the same time. So you'll have robots that are actually inputting product, robots that are transporting product, and then robots that are outputting product or picking that product. And I think Avar has done a really novel job of looking at the challenge with the end in mind and not just focusing on the movement of product, but how do you get product into the system with an automated deployment and out of the system with an automated pick. And that's gonna be a differentiator in the marketplace. The next generation of autonomous mobile robots continues to evolve, allowing items to be stored and distributed faster than ever before. It really takes the operator in mind and adds design and, and entrepreneurship to a great technology platform. And so the operator comes first when operating the Prefuse system, which in a lot of ways will automate how a worker can complete tasks in a more rapid and less labor intensive fashion. The way of our robotics simplifies this task with the Prefuse system is really the type of kind of design thinking approach that we see coming from our new lab community. Really seeing the problem first from the industry level versus developing technology for technology's sake. And so in the Prefuse system, it's robust, it's collaborative, and simple to use, which means training is, is less complicated and less costly. For more information, visit avar-robotics.com. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll join us next time as we continue to explore some of the significant developments impacting the world around us. I'm Ted Danson. See you next time.